Hello and welcome to Rule of Thirds, a conversation about art, design and culture with your hosts Burns, Mike and Jude. If this is your first time listening, welcome to the family. Be sure to follow us on our Instagram at Rule of Thirds Pod. Don't be shy to say hi. All right, now to the episode. On today's episode, the guys discuss their current working environments and the impact that they have on their productivity and creativity. The relationship that some of us as creatives have with hoarding, as well as some other interesting topics that might include a really embarrassing first song on an MP3 player. Would you like to give a (laughs) prayer of Thanksgiving? The prayer no, of Thanksgiving. Just thank you for this pad in the internet. Wait, no, that's, I don't think that's what pad in the Michael internet. meant. First of all, <laughs> no, no, because no, that one, <laughs> guys, <laughs> I've been in the realms of the internet trying to come on. <laughs> anyway, Buzz has just been lagging, right. dipping, but he's back now. So that, we thank God. Um, we thank God. Thank but um, yeah, to have you, mate. guys, just thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for everything that you lot have been doing. Um, with the Will of First podcast, we really appreciate it. Um, yeah. I think that's, that's pretty much. Anything else to add, guys? <laughs> why, Thank you, why guys. You that, Thanks bro? very much. Appreciate y'all. Oh wait, someone said that apparently we can't say we'll y'all say y'all. because we're British. We'll so say we y'all appreciate you, you all. Sorry. Uh, so <laughs> we appreciate the... the is that is that good <laughs> enough? I think that will suffice. Well, thanks, thanks everyone for tuning in, for the comments, for the feedback and stuff as well. And for actually letting us know what you've taken from some of these episodes. So I'm saying yeah. some, it's really been three, but yeah, it's mad. Internet. Yes, yeah. yes. But anyway, um, how's everyone doing, man? How's everyone doing? What are you saying? Good. Yeah. Good. Tired, but good. Why are you tired? <sighs> well, I saw your Instagram post. Got inspired to buy a desk, and I've literally been building a desk all day. Where did you get your desk? That's from? why I'm tired. No, no, no. Where did you get your desk from? Legit. From? I want to know. <laughs> No, oh, I can't reveal my sources, man. I had to detail, you know. <laughs> oh, <God>. uh, <laughs> are, you, are you a big age? You're Excuse doing me? Uh, as far as I'm, you know, as far as I'm concerned, do, I had de- technical difficulties. Puppy, you know what I'm saying? When you, when you said that I had technical difficulties <laughs> and I actually missed out what you said because I am not a part you of this activity. organization, whatever. I'm not affiliated. Yeah, no. What? So, yeah. You sure. Well, Burns, I yeah, I, I go, I go for Michael. I go for Michael. He's the he's my uh, <laughs> plug himself. He's my dealer. Yeah, plug the plug himself. God forbid. God forbid. Well, you guys know me as Mike on this podcast, so <laughs> oh, as far as I'm concerned, that is not me. I don't know who Michael is. Michael, okay. how's your week been? It's been it's been all right, you know. Um, so as Jude has kind of said, I got a desk. Well, I got wood um, from B and Q. And over the weekend, I went through, I don't know why, I've been looking for a desk for probably like a month now, but it's like Ikea just don't rate my life because the ones I want are all out of stock. And I randomly went to B&Q. Wait, and I was Ikea like, yeah, having like shortages right now? Buy... I swear like every time someone tries to go there. I, I feel like they have. They've like, been I cutting guess down too many trees. That's what happened. Business has been booming. Everyone's at home. Go and just make a shelf you, yourself. Do you not rate IKEA though? Like, what? Do you, do you rate their <laughs> furniture and the? Because I've had I've had mixed reviews. People I say, like oh, depends. I wouldn't use IKEA to to you know for the interior of my house. It's definitely overrated. Right. Like, I, it's definitely over. Just because I think, like, it's one of those situations where like people heard IKEA, <laughs> they didn't hear anything else. Um, <laughs> it, we're just we're just fine. But like. I think it depends on again how your interior is. Like if your house is like very minimalist, like Burns loves, then fair enough. 
Yeah, yeah it makes sense. But like in Michael's case, where he's actually building it, like I actually I love that because then like you know you you have some kind of like um, pride. This is like, yeah. Knowing I made that you this. actually build yeah, yeah. what you have. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. made this and desk. Yeah, you know I'm saying I made it. I made it myself. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And, and it's personalized <laughs> as well, which is amazing because it's like you get to customize it exactly how you want it, same size. You can get mm. whatever color you want, blah, blah. You know, you can't do that with yeah. IKEA. Or can you? I'm yeah. not really sure. Uh, to be fair, I feel like you can because I even thought about buying like a white desk with like white wood and just like painting it. But then they were like, oh, you have to strip the paint off of it and all these things. And I was like, you know what? It's a lot of effort. And even when I checked, it's not even in stock in the closest Ikea to me. It's like the closest one was, I think, like Southampton. Southampton, fam. <laughs> I just call it Southampton. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> shout out to our friend from Southampton. You know who you are. Um, Southampton massive. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's been nice. Um, I literally finished it today. The legs came um, from a different company and put it all together i had to buy a power drill because i had an electronic screwdriver but i was a bit naive i didn't realize that an electronic screwdriver <laughs> and a power drill not the they're not you, the same thing you thought you were he-man used... my was trying to say, i have the power <laughs> proper like squeezing oh no 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 f- when, no when i got my electronic screwdriver i was like no one can talk to me oh, this is what God. i have and then the minute i pressed the button the lack of energy in that spin, I said, this is not going to do How long did it take you, like, overall? What's this doing for me? Um, Probably, like, a, a day and a half. So, because with the wood, so got it cut at b and I then, like, started sanding it so yeah. I could make it smoother and then stained it. But then I realized when you stain wood, apparently um, it causes, like, the texture of the wood to, like, raise. So everything you've kind of sanded... The texture comes back again. So I, I said, mean, like, eh? so now I had to like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the wood said, are you being rise? It just came out like. <laughs> Why is the thing rising from? <laughs> no, <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> <laughs> Why is it rising? I was No. <laughs> 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 Wait, Michael, we getting a video for this on YouTube. Um, I've recorded stuff. Don't ask me when it's coming yeah, out. I've oh, recorded stuff. God. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Judy's please just the, always hey, you always on my yeah. neck. You lot, please. please think, but bro. everyone listening, please keep Michael accountable. Tell him to release yeah. a video. <laughs> yes. <Please. laughs> We're in the prison of him. Guys, oh, guys, no, life, there's out. a lot happening in life, no, we want, okay? We want content, Mike. A lot of content. Going on, but no. You okay? You want content? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're in lockdown. You're starving us out here. Lay out, fam. As far as I'm Slip. concerned, I'm a third of this podcast. So, so I'm giving you content really? already, technically. Just saying. Putting it out there. But yeah, the say, desk is great. Uh, the desk is great. Going back say? to Burns' um, statement about the IKEA thing. Like, what, what, what about you, Burns? Like, Because I know you love like yeah. minimum. Well, I, I, I like it, but I'm not living it, fan of it, currently. Um... Basically, I'm in the process, um, God willing, like, maybe or possibly end of ne- this year or next year, I want to buy a house. Um, money and, uh, man. My, my, you know, my missus. You get me? But, um, by, the, by, the grace, by the grace of God. Beautiful. But, like, I think for me, I've, just, I've got, like, a massive, like, Pinterest board where I just put down stuff in and stuff, right? But I don't know, with um, Ikea, I've got like Ikea in my room and stuff, but I think the quality of it is not, it's great, right? But I think for longevity, I don't know if it really does a job. I know there's like companies like Made.com, for example, that um, do like really quality um, sort of furniture and stuff. And even, I was on Instagram the other day, on my story, there was like this company that does sofas. I don't know if you guys saw the advert, but they do sofas. And they poured wine on the sofa. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Swift. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's. Do you think? Do you think that's going to be? A, let me check it now, bro. Sure. Is it even a quality thing, fam? What the thing is, they're going to tell you it's quality. I don't know what it just looks really. <laughs> Not gonna lie, the prices say quality, but I who who knows? Because I think I'm I saying. went to check and I saw stuff like seven hundred a grand. 
And I was like, um... Wait, 700 grand for what exactly? For a sofa. So they've got a couple models of different sofas, like yeah. two-seaters, three-seaters, and then like one with like um, an extension on the three-seater. And yeah, yeah. just saw 700, 1,000. I said, okay, that's nice. That, this is not for me. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't, it looks really, I don't know. It looks really cheap to me. Anyway, let me know about mm. this company, yo. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you may want some sponsorships and uh, oh, stuff. So, right, the BBC, the BBC said, yes. <laughs> but that person be on the sofa, like, mm, so comfy. <laughs> yeah, right now. I'm just like, mm, so comfy. <laughs> the BBC said, <laughs> if. It's like, have you ever wanted good sleep? Well, Swift has got you. Bro, they, have to, they have to pay me a mil. They have to pay me a mil for that, fam. What? A mil. For me to lie like that. Anyway, um, BBC said that if good design can help self-assemble shake off its shoddy image, then the future is flat-packed. Wait, what? Wait, if... <clears throat> is yeah, this yeah, on this Swift? is their, you know, their testimonials or their reviews. Okay, Let okay. me read that again. The BBC. The BBC said, if good design can help self-assembly shake off its shoddy image, then if... Oh! So it's like an indirect IKEA. Saying, but like, when does self-assembly... Yeah, when does self-assembly oh, have a I, shoddy I, image? I mean, if, yeah. we're be, if we're being real, IKEA, like, there's certain things that you go to IKEA for. Like, if I want a shelf, I know I'm going to IKEA. If I want a chest of drawers, mm. probably going to go to IKEA. A mirror, I don't think IKEA, IKEA. But shoddy, then though. if I wanted IKEA's a bed... Shoddy. Yeah, I wouldn't call it shoddy. It's, it's not shoddy, but it's, you know, you're paying this price. Don't expect premium from me. Like, you're not expecting oh, right, okay. the best ever bed that you're going to get in your life yeah. from Ikea. But you're getting a good bed that does an okay job. It's or job so it's job. like functionality over anything. Yeah. I mean, yeah, what else are you trying to get a bed for, fam? Yeah. I think you are, like, you're trying to sleep on what roses and everything. They're like, what? <laughs> no, but yeah, like even you know, if anything, the ma- the mattress is the most important part. But like the actual frame of the bed, oh, like, yeah, what's that going to do? Really? Most important aesthetics, though. Like interior design wise, I'm sure there's some like bits. I'm sure we all have a Pinterest board. Like like um Burn said, like with home yeah. stuff. Yeah, the stuff that you see on that Pinterest board, you're not no, you're no, not no, getting from no, IKEA. No. I I'm think sure. a lot of people that I know. We go for these, yes. you know, these um, <laughs> cells, not car boot cells, but like these vintage shortage cells, you know, mm. um, and they grab themselves a bargain. But, um, I'm for the shortage boys. No, I'm, 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 a, I'm an East boy, so large up to the short, the shortage massive. <laughs> oh, boy, you just insulted him and now you're telling me. But, um, yeah, man, I think when it comes to the whole, I think the reason why I'm attracted to the whole like minimalist house. Not that I'll have like one of everything because I just think that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think that's One sofa in one room. My house, room. <laughs> my, my house is not no TV. TV. That's that reminds me of um, Kim and um, Kanye's yard. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye's house, yeah. That one's just... <laughs> the cold <laughs> just looks so cold. I'm like, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> you see North... Hello, oh, hello, hello, hello. That yard is hello, empty, hello. fam. Daddy, daddy, daddy. That yard is daddy. empty, cuz. I don't know, it just gives me eerie vibes. I I need to have something there in it, but I think yeah. when I say minimalist, I, I think just that, I think I've become more sort of like um, sustainability sort of aware, if that makes sense, or like just mm, making sure mm-hmm. I'm not wasting stuff. Because I think often we find ourselves like these days, I don't buy cheap cheap stuff anymore because it just like for example i always use the example that um headphones for example i just bought new headphones Hola. like if i oh, went yeah. to go and buy this what headphones so, did you buy burns mx4 all right any louder <laughs> <laughs> but like these headphones are quality right it's fixed but at the same time imagine i went to get like mm. a shoddy you know amazon sort of headphone do you get me like one any next thing really and truly i'll have to buy right. it again and the map and to anybody listening on a pair of those shoddy Amazon things, he is, yeah, he didn't mean it like that. Well, listen, to, listen back to episode yeah, three and you, you'll see how to get your money up. But, but. Wow. <laughs> 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 
He really said that. What? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to, I'm trying to yeah. see hello, hello man in here shining. <laughs> what? I'm trying to see y'all all shining, man. But with no Amazon headphones here. <laughs> no, but to be fair, I feel like I feel like we have to repurpose what we're spending on. To be fair. I feel like we we be spend on nonsense. Mm. That's fair. Can I, everyone can afford certain. Obviously, um, I'm speaking to like those in a particular sort of bracket and stuff. But like, um, yeah. In that in that assumption, everyone can afford stuff as long as they repurpose what they're spending on. Ultimately, I'm sure there's a lot of rubbish things that we buy all the time that yeah could have gone to something else better. You know, but I think <clears throat> mm. yeah, I think with the whole thing, I just want to have create a space. I think. The conversation of you guys having like um, these desks and stuff, I'm sure that's going to help your productivity. That's going to help you to sort of create in a better environment. Oh, you know oh, what I mean? Um, and I think even the question like, what yeah. does it mean um, to have a good environment to create in? Like, what? How important is that to you? I mean, I, the thing is, I don't think I appreciate. How, like, when I was in yeah. office spaces, my productivity mm. levels were definitely higher just because, one, I was with people. So it's kind of like, if everybody's working, you can't just be sitting there doing, like, yeah, twiddling yeah. your stuff. That's just like, you can't do that. You have to be working. So it's quite, like, um, it encourages you, I guess, back to the word accountability, Michael. Please release the videos. Uh, but accountability um, and kind of like, just, like, being able to work because people around you are mm. doing the same thing. And I think it's the same thing with us and when we're like always checking and seeing how what you're doing, what you're doing, what you're doing is because we want to kind of make sure that we're all on what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, so it's definitely important like to have a space where you're creative. Like it, this lockdown year, if I'm, I've been stuck in bed working so, so many hours. That is right. so, so bad. Like that's why I, I like when I saw Mike, I was like, you know what, Bunny, I'm just going to get a desk. Cause at this rate, I've been putting it off for so long. It just makes no sense to kind of just be stuck in bed and trying to work. It's like it's just it's you tell yourself you're going to be productive you you tell yourself this you're like yes, i'm gonna so wake up you know what i'm saying i'm gonna do it you wake up fam and you just be in bed and before you realize you're on netflix you are you fall asleep and you wake up and it's 4 p.m and you're like wrong <laughs> is this my life yeah man mm. my 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 yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Mike is still deep in it. I just saw Mike. Mike is like that. Four PM was very was very loud. Oh, I'm so tired. But <laughs> so, it's so true because I before I like bought the tabletop, I had been like working from my my bed for like I think a week and a half or two weeks. And I was just thinking, no, this isn't it. Like I knew this was going to be a temporary thing, but. It was long enough for a bit. I've seen, too I've seen hella creative ways long, long, like and then like even using like ironing boards and that for the desk. But I can't lie though. If if you man can, you know, word of advice, if your companies are safe, tell them to expense that table, bro. Expense that man. Oh yeah. Or do it yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Mm. Especially like if you're freelancing um, as well, that. yeah. Just to have that, carve out that space for yourself to like focus solely on Stuff, work. Man. Cause it reminds me of like you, like uni, like yeah, the times yeah. where you'll be in bed and you're trying to revise and you'll scat out all your in. books on your bed. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna like do a study session. And then slowly you're just, that duvet just comes up way <laughs> too high over your body. Uh. And then your laptop is there. You know when you do that thing where you bend your neck in order to see your laptop when you're lying down? Yes, yes. <laughs> That's what you'll yes. be doing. And then before you know it, if it's not Netflix, it's sleep. So... <laughs> it's five minutes nap. <laughs> oh, just, just, just close my eyes. My eyes are itchy. <laughs> close your eyes. Close your eyes. So, you know, it's now 7 a.m. the next wait, morning. Have you uh, never had those nights here? Actually, when just, so scary. Oh, I used to have this um, all the time, like <laughs> on like I don't know, like on a Sunday after church or something. Yeah, I will close my eyes. I wake up and it's a new day. It's Monday. <laughs> you know, oh, that it's the worst feeling here because you feel like, wait, what? Oh. I did nothing. Oh. <laughs> this is gone. We're free. You know how much that burns, bro? <laughs> it's just like it's such a piss take. Oh, we're, what we're, we're talking, talking about, about um, your environment, your work environment. Ah, yeah, Burns, what about what, you? Like, how important it is to me? 
Like how? Yeah. Mm. How, how do you feel like it's important? Because I don't yeah, know. If yeah, you yeah. Have I'm a desk at the moment. moment, but I'm sitting on my bed. Yeah. Yeah. But um, is there yeah, like a move? That's why I was there. making bed noise at the start. Cause literally, I can just move it around and stuff. <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, mm. and I think for me as well, like I put like different stuff. So I also got a plant up there. Got um, uh, yeah. a Michael Jordan picture at the Shout moment out to as Akura. well. Shout out to, I better say this um, right, um, but it's I-R-I-E dot canvas. I believe that's the page. Um, but got, and then obviously I've got the um, the great wave of um, Kangawa uh, behind me as well. But like, I just, I just put things around me just to like inspire me. And obviously I've got like um, this, yeah. uh, my sonar speaker, which is hella loud. Mm. which I need just to like create that environment just to like zone out and stuff you know um, but it, it definitely helps mm. man I think when you're in a like I also I like to clean before I even start working because when you're in a place that's like mad cluttered and stuff sometimes it feels yeah. like that's how my brain is you know you just have to kind of like declutter and just mm. start from like a fresh sort of um, canvas yeah I'm not gonna lie that cluttering thing here yeah, what I realised that anytime that my space is cluttered I'm, it's been, yeah. the moment I clear up and I have nothing else to do I'm like mm, I don't have to yeah, work now yeah, like yeah. I have no choice <laughs> like sometimes they'll be like oh I just I have to I have to do work but my bed is like mm. full of clothes let me just fold on my clothes and then you end up sleeping <laughs> and then you keep <laughs> you keep procrastinating but the moment your room is clear and like like there's no clutter around suddenly yeah. you have no choice you have nothing else to do nothing you else to do come to your do. room is clean like I right, I need to do some work now like you know, you know how we can like productively procrastinate in a way. So it's like mm. we use that as another way to like, oh, we're being productive still because you know we're doing something, mm-hmm. but deep down you're not actually doing the thing that you should be doing. Should and be plus, doing. it's just nice to have like a cleaner work environment. I, I'm saying this like half of my room isn't a tip, but it's literally because of this. <laughs> Mine's like a pop site. It's just like <laughs> no, no, it's up, terrible. Up it's terrible. Everywhere. Like, a carpet's that's, folded that's, over. That's the reality. There's books though, inside. You're not gonna have a Pinterest yard all the time, man. Mm. I'm sure, I'm sure all these celebrities mm. that people you know look up to and whatever. I'm sure their yards are trash as well sometimes. Never sometimes yeah, well, they have cleaners because yeah. money. Yeah, I was gonna say they definitely, they definitely like, clean. Reality shows that you know we're human beings and sometimes, you know, most of the time things get messy and we have to. Yeah, but I, I think it does also come into like the whole thing about like discipline and like that practice of keeping things staying on top of things and like, okay, keeping things tidy, keeping things clean and making sure that you're constantly like kind of like creating that environment for yourself where it is a nice place to work at. Like for example, in an office space, things can't get too crazy because it's not just you, it's other people that are working in that environment or, you know, or cleaner might come in and like switch it up or your manager will be like, fix it up because this is disgusting. But I think, yeah, reminder of just like, keeping things tidied and like when you have like systems and stuff as well, like, you know, where yeah, things yeah. are easy to yeah. do this, <clears throat> or you know, what kind of things you'll listen to while you're working. It makes it easier to do the work, I guess. Cause I know for me, I've been in a bit of like a, not a rut, but I found it a bit harder to just like focus. And I do mm. think it's because for a couple of weeks, I didn't have a desk. So like randomly I was like, okay, I had a table, but it was more like a round dining table. And mm. I just didn't like it. And I was like, okay, we're disconnecting it today. It was a random decision. And then I started working on my bed. But then working on your bed isn't the same as working on a table. And plus, you wake up, you're on this bed. There's no that's, separation that's as well. There, um, so I could see that like, fam. So the pro- productivity definitely down, dipped. Yeah. But yeah, now, like, even like the minute I made the desk, immediately put my like monitor up my laptop on and I actually started like doing work because I was like, I actually have it now. So I have no excuse. Mm. It's tough, man. Mm. It's tough. <laughs> this is even, I feel like this may be a random question, but it's definitely linked. How do you like, organize your folders on your desktop? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't lie to you. Oh my God. Do you know, do you know what messes me up every single time? It's yep. screenshot. <laughs> Because I'm like oh, addicted to screenshotting. Yeah, like, hello. like when I'm on, when I'm just like surfing the internet or like reading through like blogs mm-hmm. and like sites and whatever, so, and yeah, like, oh, that looks yeah. cool. Screenshot, screenshot. 
I have a thousand and one screenshots. But the thing is, I can't put them in nah, just nah, a folder for screenshots. You have to really... They, half yeah. of them don't make any sense. Mm. And I need to kind of go through and like organize it. But other folders, like since I got my new laptop, everything has been clean. My, my old computer, I haven't even touched it. <laughs> like, I haven't even touched it because I know it's just a mess. Like, a whole mess. So that That's something I definitely need to... But the thing is, I personally feel, yeah... That even though like I'm quite organized when it comes to like desk space and like all that kind of stuff here, yeah. but my actual work process is very chaotic. Fine. So like I I am never like trying to force myself to be overly and organized, even especially when it comes layers, to like, working. I, like sometimes, yeah. So I work predominantly on like <laughs> Illustrator, <laughs> and believe it or not, yeah, guys, maybe. Illustrator has layers, um, <laughs> but it's not it's not evident. You know I'm They don't make it really big. I feel like it's yeah. more for Photoshop, in yeah. my opinion. I think Photoshop makes sense to have layers, yeah. but Illustrator, mm-hmm. I promise you, there'll be like 100 lines and just in one colour. Just, just click it. Yeah, I just find it long, man. Yeah, I, I think at the end of the day, yeah. as long as you've got the final product, that's what matters, right? You, the thing no, is, but, you say this. You unless say they come this. back for no, revisions. They, oh, Can you it's change when this? They ask for the, it's it's hey, when oh, they ask for the revisions or they want the working files. Like, I found myself in situations. I don't know why this year everyone's just coming for my original files. Bro, same. But yeah, same. Someone's asked can we, can for we like, have the original, please? Uh, ask for PSD no. files. I had. I said, <laughs> oh, huh? Yeah, yeah. We'd like to like the working files. Like, you know, people in this headquarters want to like Should, fix you have a policy, bro. Or they want to like replace the images. Maybe a policy. I need to probably install this as well. You don't ask maybe for like, now, yeah, you after, after, after this is, no. like a year, 365 days, whatever, your, your files will be <laughs> the PSD. <laughs> to be okay, fair, not gonna that, lie. that actually as, as is much a good as thing I wa- to add to a contract. Mm. Yeah. As yeah. much as I want to, with this, <laughs> with this, <laughs> with this client, just better just, better just give them the goods. Because <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie, that's a working relationship I would, oh, I'd love yeah, to yeah. still continue. But um, mm. yeah, like it actually got me thinking like mad. What are my files saying? And it was a book. It was um, it was like a booklet kind of thing. A lot of pages, okay. a lot of different bits on each page. So it took me the weekend. I went through every single page, and <laughs> this is probably gonna like be an honest, vulnerable moment about my process when it comes to like InDesign and <laughs> Photoshop. For <laughs> InDesign, I need to really figure that out. So I did quite a lot of it in Photoshop. So I then had to like sort out the layers of Photoshop. I had to name right. certain things and make uh, it clear it. why I use this clipping mask or just to like label it in a way that you know what yeah, every yeah. individual bit kind of consists of and why it's there. So when you want to change something, you easily can. So yeah. like for instances like that, that's happened. Or when working with another designer and they're like, oh, can you just send me the working file so I can see like what you did? And sometimes that's when it's like, oh, I'm not going to lie, I feel a bit... Not insecure, but you're like, oh, you're going to, I feel vulnerable. Like I'm seeing, open. yeah, seeing your nakedness almost. Like, you know? Oh, you're going to see on the, yeah. So like, you don't even, want to show people that. Even then, I had to like sort them out and make sure that ne- everything ne- was ne- just ne- presentable. But in real life, do they look like that? No. It's all a mess. Layer one, two, three, four. Si- line one, two, three, four. Re- rectangle Layer one, copy. Layer one, copy, copy. Layer, one, copy, 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 really layer two, stuff. copy, copy, copy. Our, our, our right. folders for our podcast, like actually is proper sick, you know? But I feel like it's because there's three of us. So like that's because of three of us. So that like we again, we, we don't want to we don't want to show ourselves like expose it. ourselves to our processes because <laughs> no, I got like I was going to so... say like with the start of graphics as well. I'm not gonna. Like, yeah. I know for me, in my head I was like, ah, uh, actually can't show my ass in front of these two. So let me actually yeah. make sure that <laughs> anything <laughs> anything I prepare, See, I'm not like you guys. I really you guys try my best. Thinking, like what the hell. I really try my best. <laughs> Wait, Burns, Burns was coming with like art boards. I was like, art boards? I haven't seen anyone use art Fam. boards. In t- I was like, Fam. I saw that. I'm I said, wow, okay. Okay, okay. Burns is a proper <laughs> designer. I was like, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. I need to step it up. I just need to step it up. Because yeah, this is different. As in, and obviously, because I use a lot of like After Effects and whatever, like things oh, that even after like, well, I, I should do it probably. Uh, I don't think I've done it yet, but things like packaging the, the files and stuff with the, all the fonts and all the assets. Oh, whole different story. Mm-hmm. Mm. <clears throat> but you know the thing, yeah, like I know for a fact, because I've grown up in like an African home, we're used to having things that might, like the amount of layers that I have in a file that have nothing in them, or nothing to do with the actual file. 
I blame it. I blame all my parents because they they have what? things in the house. Just, just hoarding. Yeah, fam. digital hoarding. This will go to Ghana. That will go to Ghana. <laughs> this will go to Ghana. It's this amazing. has been. To be fair, this year they 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 stay true to their word. Everything went to, everything good. went to Ghana. I can't lie. <laughs> Even some things that were meant to go to Ghana, but anyway, that's a different conversation. Um, but yeah, no, I feel like sometimes because we are like in that culture of always having things and we're always like, you never know when you might need it, type thing. Like, oh, yeah, 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 don't throw that out. When will we need it tomorrow? You, you might, you, um, you be like clothes that are like two sizes smaller, like from 15 years ago. No, but that's you that's, know, that's you true. Know, you, once you have a child, I've, all of a sudden, like, I don't <laughs> wear suits like, anymore. Awesome. And obviously, like, since I left this whole finance world. Mm. I don't think I'm wearing a suit until my wedding or my friend's weddings or like <laughs> legit. Oh, and it's I them ones where I'm looking at, I got this suit from Zara. I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, nah, let me just hold on to it. But that thing is definitely tight for me now, boy. Mm. So it's them ones where it's like, I don't know why we do that to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> the buttons still <laughs> trying, to <laughs> trying to hold on for dear life like come on bro let me go bro let me go bro what is this what did I ever do to you I don't know why we do this I think, I, why is it so hard to like let go of like sentimental stuff well I guess you you said it where it's like sentimental isn't it so yeah. there's like it? a connection to it emotion yeah. a memory I realize yeah. a lot of like creators like to collect things in general. Yeah. Like yeah. even yeah. simple things like the screenshots thing I was Hello. saying. I'm pretty sure all of you have that feeling where you're like, okay, screenshot, screenshot. And you go through and like, whoa, this is I way too many screenshots. Lot. Some things you never look back on. Like I used to have this weird obsession here yeah, of keeping train tickets. <laughs> and yeah. I feel like everyone at uni did was this, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I thought I was, because I was commuting. So what I used to do, yeah, I'll get on the bus, get my ticket, get the train, get my ticket, eat my food, Get my receipt, stay with all of it, and I had a whole box for a whole almost the almost receipt. a whole year, bro. I, bro, when I tell you, <laughs> I have no idea why I was doing it. All I know is that I started and I couldn't stop, and I literally have a, a full box, a full shoe box here of just tickets maybe, with no, receipts. Maybe maybe in and like fifty, 50 years or hundred years like, though, you can just just, you just, can just, that. just that. for the sake. So, in Facts. the year two thousand and six, does it take more? Say less. I'll, you, I'll, I'll, that, even, I'll even beat the. The government name. No, I'll be my team. I remember I was in the, I was in the Tate Modern. <clears throat> that could be a project. I went to Tate Modern. Um, I mean, when it was... <laughs> when we could go. I think it was probably like last year when like oh, lockdown... Remember, remember those days, huh? Hey? You remember those days? <laughs> <laughs> go the good, the good old days. I actually miss museums. It's like eons man. now. I miss museums. Yeah. But I remember I went there and it was like, there was so Ooh. many like cool stuff. Like, I mean, there was like this like massive sort of like almost like a junkyard but like with like mm. different stuff from the digital age so like the the old radio sets or the old cassette players or um old phones and stuff I was like right like even technology changes so much like imagine we held we held on to our cd players and all them stuff there oh. um you remember that zune what i don't know if you might have a zune i think it was a sony Zoo. It's like a, it's, it looks like, like I beg your wait, pardon. Zoo. It's like from us. I, I swear to God, this is a real thing. I'm not even making it Share up. Share your screen, please. It's it's. I, can't even <laughs> here. Hold on. I think it's a Z U N E. Z U. Yeah, Z U N E, fam. By the way, my people, if you're listening, you man didn't yeah, know about Zoo as well, because oh wait, like an MP3. It was like an MP3 player, fam. That 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 was fancy. I yeah, had the I USB. Think that's six. exactly I what I. Have a I've been. I was trying to get a Zoom for time. Even till this day, I've been looking trying to get a Zoom. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know anyone with a Zoom? Let me know. <laughs> Zoom, as in Z U what? N or N E N E. Yeah. It's like it's like a um, MP3 yeah, yeah. player with a screen. Like a fan, almost looks like a, a fancy, Nokia um, or like fancy, a Sony yeah, iPod. This was expensive. Then it, bro. Didn't, it didn't last that long. I'm sure at the time yeah, that was like, in peace. Yeah. I remember like the fancy kids at school used to have them. I was like, wow. I never, I never had them. Um, my own. Uh, um, an iPod. I had well, um, not even the one with with no like screen, nothing. No, I had, I had the uh, um, Sony Ericsson Walkman. Right. Yeah, nice. you were different. Okay. Yeah, no, you were crazy. You were boy. Had um, yeah. underscore underscore. What songs did they have back in them days? No air. No air. Jordan Sparks, Chris Brown. Six. Oh, I must definitely had that on there. Bang on. Thank God. Oh, no, that, oh, 
And, and oh, was a different Sean one. Kingston, Beautiful Girls was on there. Yo, wait. Oh, shit. Yeah, wheel it, wheel it. Yeah, that was that there was for there. Song right there. Hard. Yeah, yeah that was good. on there for sure. Now I think about it. Some of the songs I was listening to were mad corny. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. What, what, I, Pardon me, was like, should I say Bro, this at 13, what did, what did I know about love? I was there like, acting like I was... Bro. This thing with the You know what? Yeah. No, nah, some songs. I want to beat myself up. Actually, it wasn't shameful. No, nah, to be fair, it was. It was. I mm. feel like that wasn't shameful. I think it was just nice. I think more time that was the whole period. <laughs> it was just nice. No, no, be my team. You know what it was? Yeah, there was a certain period where I used to watch Disney Channel like all the time, and there was like, yeah. Oh, what... Michael, go on then. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm saying: is it shameful? Is it not shameful? Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm on the shame. I tell you the first. If I tell you the first song I had on my MP3, I'm not ashamed, but I'm just like, that's, wow. That's what was it? In life, I feel like I feel like I've had some very. It's gonna sound mad. I feel like I've had some very interesting firsts mm. in this life. Yeah, first song on my MP3 player. I thought it was a banger, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Suspense, drum roll, please. Oh God. <sighs> Hannah Montana, nobody's perfect. I lie. You have to go in the bin for that. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I like, you have to go in the bin for that. Wait, what, what has that been? Nobody's perfect. Oh, God. That's like, how old are you, Michael? How old are you? Yep. <laughs> I, that's the thing I'm, I'm really trying to think because <laughs> if I say a certain age, obviously, it's going sound, to sound a bit mad. But I don't think I was oh, up to cool, 10 because cool, cool. I use my stepdad's computer yeah. at the time yeah I don't think I was up to them but still like yeah I, I'm not gonna lie I thought that, I was like wow the message of this song is so deep and I was like wow <laughs> there were certain bits of the production I think I was listening to like the background vocals and I was like wow this was amazing let me find the lyrics yeah. let me find the lyrics for that one yeah no, I'm just imagine Michael yeah sitting down cross leg with his glasses like proper contemplating like Dude, the lyrics are so profound wow it just it just moved me to my <laughs> core like, taking shit, the lyrics I was yeah, shaking up <laughs> It says, nobody's perfect. I got mm. to work it again and again. Wait, wait, wait you got to work it. <laughs> I like, get it right. Nobody's oh, perfect. God. You live and you learn it. And if and if I mess it up sometimes, nobody's perfect. Mm-hmm. That's kind of nice. Nobody's perfect. And she's got a little ad lib as well. Ad-lib, Michael. Wait. <laughs> let me, no, let no, me, no, no, let no. You started. You, got, you better finish it. What's the ad lib? <laughs> it's cool no it's fine you guys listen to it on lib. no no it's fine maybe Jude you could sample nah, I'm that good. Yeah, nah, I'm good no I'm good no no we don't, we don't do Hannah Montana right? yeah, yeah we're good <laughs> we don't do Hannah Montana right? <laughs> no but anyway like even on the subject of like Disney Disney Channel songs I think my favourite one was like the High School Musical um, the one where um, Trey was I think the number two when he was on the golf course Bet on it. That was it. So, Bet on it. What? So I like, like High School Musical. Oh, no. I like that. No, I, I found... I thought it was really song was funny. Fu- that song was deep, was, you know? I thought it was really cool. The whole, sh- the whole thing is cool. Really no, cool. No, 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 no. Put some respect on that. The, da- the dance on the golf course, he's looking at the reflection <laughs> and the lines are, it's so something, something to see yourself and That's not recognise your face. You're not deep what? in it. You're not deep in it. It went over your head. Yeah, you went over your head, bro. The bars were serious, you know. Look at this. It's... Michael's face. Oh, my God. We're, we're um, wearing the, the vans the lyrics, with no yeah. socks. And don't ask me I why. Mean, I was Steph was sweating in them vans as well. That's disgusting. <laughs> 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 he was sweating in the vans. <laughs> he was just breathing like, mold yeah, in his foot. Like, that's so dead. How are you going to do that? Yeah. Oh, the lyrics here. Yeah. I'm going to read it out quickly. I'm not going to stop, not going to stop till I get my shot. That's who I am. That is my mm. plan. Bet on it, wow. bet on it, bet on it. <laughs> and it if, um, man says, when man's looking at the mirror, yeah? I mean, looking at the flipping, what, ocean and that. Man's at ocean, river, wherever it is, lick. <laughs> he says. <laughs> well, not, you sure it's not a point? He says, yeah. It's not good at all to see yourself and not recognise your face um, in James. Uh, out on my own. <laughs> It's such a scary place. Ooh. 
<laughs> I was waiting for man, you to was sing. No, I was no that bit. That. Man, say, man said the answers are all inside of me. All I got to do is believe. This sounds scriptural, fam. No, you got to do it's, it probably because all I gotta do, and then it's gone. Do it. Please, oh my God. And then he hits the water. Da, 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 so I'm not gonna start telling. Not gonna start telling. And then he now starts jumping. I can't lie. This, this part is at some twenty three, fam. That's a copyright thing. So done. Man wow. said, it's such a scary a place. Oh, Pastor Troy. Yeah. Pastor <laughs> Even though I walk through the valley on the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. <laughs> Is the answer all inside of me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so done. He said something. I, this is the word of the Lord. Okay. Now, and I think another another show that I loved was Proud Family. Now, I've got a problem with this. You see these things here? How Look, you lot are so lucky oh. to be watching, so what are you watching Disney shows, you know. Oh, was you, was you in watching like yeah, watching Gollywood, fam. <laughs> What's even Gollywood? <laughs> What's watching Gollywood? Yeah, that's not funny. That's, <laughs> the that's, ends, not funny. that's the end. That's the end. I was watching Gollywood. You lot were chilling <laughs> or doing a f- high school music. I keep pop on them and there. I was on road. I was on road. No, but you were able to see films like. Beyonce and the President's mm. Daughter. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was a banger. True, banger. True. You had you had Van Vig Van Vicker. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. we had Van Vicker. Nadia. <laughs> I did really oh, Van Vicker um, over everybody else. <laughs> you know? Who's the other one? What? You guys had Jason Dumelo. Like you, you guys have Gally Gallywood yeah. and Nollywood used no. to scare me back in the day, bro. I think there was one film I watched here where there was like Jesus, something like a the things are too here. scary. And like the eyes came out of the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> What, and then it stretch. And it makes it like the stretch. It makes one. <laughs> it makes one sound like that. Like, I, 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 I don't know nah. where it was yet. <laughs> and the eyes just come up. No, 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 no. That scared me, bro. Oh my gosh. The one that used to scare me. Yeah, there's this um, Nigerian cult um, cult film. It was like a series called. It's always um, those. It called, uh, what is it called? Isakaba. Hey. Yeah. And this, this group of gentlemen, um, and they have like these red bands. They're basically like the Nigerian Bloods, yeah, walking around in in like a, a little mini van type thing, hanging out of the window, running around saying "Isakaba" and cutting themselves from, like, and there's no blood. And I'm just thinking like, nah, who wrote this script? Because I can't lie, this is ahead of his time, way ahead of. Time. Well, I was scared, yeah. It's ahead of his Bro, time. Bro, I was scared for my life. Like to the point here yeah, that it got to it, it, like in Ghana there was like if you saw like the the hood, the hood like the gangs roll up America. everybody thought it was the same people like th- everybody was like oh yeah nah that's Isaac about coming right there what wow you know fam when I tell you we were terrorized so you lot when you were doing up proud family I was just kind of like rah it would be nice proud family on too late man <clears throat> bruv they put that so. on at like what ten thirty, and I was a you Oh yeah, you know you right, you right. In the UK anyway, I mean, like they were rude. Yeah, they I'm, said okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put black any people. Nah, you're not it was seeing that. Show. I haven't lied to you, man. Oh, definitely. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Um, I agree. Um, because it, it came was on the late. Same Who's gonna watch it? I thought it was the same with Keenan and Kel right. on Nickelodeon. That, as for that show, I remember uh, yeah, people like that was on late. Um, shoot me for this, but I never watched it. I love, I love Keenan and Kel. That's the one with um, what's the name? Um, the guy who sings um, Gangsters Paradise does the intro. My, my buggy, not the same guy. What's his name? Is it Coolio? Elton. Coolio? Coolio? I was about to say Elton. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have yeah, Elton yeah. doing the intro for Kid in the Girl. That's wild. That bang though. Could, yeah, it could be a thing. No, what's his name? Coolio. I'm pretty sure it's him. Isn't that the I do, I do, I do, guys? Am I bugging? What, Coolio. Um, so That's for Coolio fam. Yeah, Orange Soda fam. That's the only thing I know, I, I know from that show. Wait, what? No, 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 no. That is not. That the guy's name is Keenan. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not. No, Coolio. I'm saying Coolio was the guy who made the intro song. Oh, oh, I thought you meant Coolio was Keenan. No, no, <laughs> no. I sound like the intro. The guy who sang um, "Gangsters Paradise." Oh. As I, I walk like through the valley of the shadow. In the Um, who's who's watched the Biggie documentary? <clears throat> I actually haven't yet. I have a really weird thing. It's gonna sound mad again. Um, I feel not that I feel bad or anything. Like I, f- I think growing up, I felt quite uncomfortable listening to the music of people that had like passed away suddenly. <laughs> I, I, get what you mean. Like, I get what you mean. <laughs> like for some reason, listening yeah, to Aaliyah yeah. 
um, what's it called, Biggie, as well as Tupac. Like, not that it put me on edge, but I was like, oh, I feel really like, uncomfortable you here. But I did like, I, I like spun some songs. So like with this Biggie documentary, I haven't listened to it yet or watched it even, but I w- I want to, but I just need to like dedicate time. Thank you for supporting us by listening. Be sure to share your thoughts with us using the hashtag Rule of Thirds pod. Enjoy the rest of the conversation. And Red Hammond, didn't it? Uh, I mean, no, yeah, to Burns' point about, like, the Biggie and, like, their age and, like, Fred Hampton even, like, I just feel like it's um, it's quite interesting or more so, like, Im- impressive, like, for them to be that young and then to leave such, like, a massive mark. And I think I always end up thinking, especially, like, I'll search up someone's age and, like, as, as again, as morbid as it sounds, like, seeing their age and, like, oh, how do, wait, this person died at this age, this person died at that yeah. age, and what they accomplished, it just makes me think, like, us as individuals and with the talents that we have, we're not like, are we going to be able to accomplish or if, if we, if, yeah, if we are to go tomorrow kind of thing, like, are you going to be able to be like, you know what? I, d- I left my mark. I did what I had to do. You, know, you, you don't have to be the most popular or whatever, but like, even if you were a farmer, can you be like, I was a great farmer. Like that, everybody knew, like my thing was 30. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> can, can you, can you be like, yeah, like I did my thing. Like I came, I saw a conquered type thing, you know? No, that's, that's even, it's funny because I literally, literally just put on my Instagram now. Um, so, um, this guy, he's like a sort of designer, sort of like just a thing, he runs that page, Original Shift, and also um, runs, um, or runs with, um, with others, um, my running club, Hellpack, Cohen. He basically said, execute everything you do with excellence. It's really that simple. And I think ultimately that's what it is. Like you're talking about, like if it's the farmer or if it's just the the massive musician, do everything with excellence, man. Because I think, I think sometimes like doing things with just like, oh, I just want to get out of the way is just, it's not good enough, man. It's not good enough. Like what, what are you actually leaving behind? Mm. Do you get me? Like these men have gone now, but still yet they've left us with solid albums and music and, I mean, it's 2021 and they're still being spoken about and they passed away in the 90s. Do you think about legacy, fam? It's crazy. I feel like, um, well, it's probably a conversation for maybe another episode, but like yeah. the fear of success mm. is something that like, like I've had to struggle through like that. Like sometimes I'll be like, oh, what if I blow tomorrow all of a sudden? Can I actually handle it? Mm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And sometimes I like, I will have the maddest panic attack. Like I'll mm. literally shut down completely because I'll be like, like this actually scares me. The thought of like, you, cause especially in the internet age that we're in now as well, it's just even scarier because it's like you really could wake up and become a meme or become popular or become famous out of nowhere, and you be like, you just woke up, you haven't brushed your teeth, you look at your phone, it's like <laughs> a million, a million notifications, and you're mad confused. Like that's how I see it, and it always makes me very anxious. But I also kind of understand, or I have to kind of understand. I don't know if that's a fair thing to put myself, but it's almost like because I know how much I have in me, I feel like it's my responsibility to make sure that I put those things to use. But like I can't lie, it's it's some of the is the scariest thing, you know just to kind of be able to understand that, look, as much as you have all these things, you have to make sure that you fulfill what you're here to do, kind of thing, you know? Oh, jeez. Mm. Oh, what happened? Hey, Aww, <laughs> enough was, of that. Was, enough of that. That's it. man. <laughs> um, no, I feel, I feel you, especially on like the fear of success thing. My God. That pressure. You've spoken about it before. Yo. I swear you got used to it. I do. Yeah, it even reminds me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, of course. Because Jude reminds me. There's a way that Jude like, oh god, it's like accountability, but also like, yeah, he always picks off for certain things. Like, it's like, oh, shut up, leave me alone. But you know, you know, so funny. Yeah, I watched a previous video of yours here, yeah, and then Michael was like, I really hope this Jude guy. Not- <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's true. Because it's just like, oh, oh god. <laughs> But no, what I, I, what I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I think there was one day you literally just like summarized my <laughs> <laughs> your YouTube basically, like, my life. You're like, oh yeah, Michael basically like disappeared for a bit. 
Oh, come on. Oh. Talk about how maybe he's working on something, but then it's not really worked out. He's going to disappear again. They're giving an announcement about an announcement. And I, I sat back and I was just there like, wow, you really just like... Bro. You really just exposed the thing. The announcement about an announcement is the funniest thing. You left me cold, bare and naked, and I'm just here, just sat there like... Wow. People love to do that. I just exposed. They'll be like, yo, I know I've been gone for a while, wow. but I'm, I'm back and I told you why I was gone for a while. It's like, no, just give us content. Just like, just give us the content. <laughs> I've, had, I've had to, I've had to stop doing it as well, but it is a lot of the reason why I explained is because it's like, no, I don't think you guys deep it. Yeah. I am a, fr- I am afraid. Like, I yeah. am scared of just where things could go. And similar to you, Jude, because I feel like also I have a lot that I feel like I do want to offer and there's so much yet that I still haven't done. Yeah. But it's yeah. just like, okay, if you actually do those things, everything around you is going to change. Mm-hmm. And for me, it's like, mm. I'm already like, not struggling, but already it feels like to manage what I'm managing yeah. feels like a lot. So a lot. for me to now multiply yeah. that, are you mad? You know? I'd, I'm not trying to die. <laughs> Yeah. out here but obviously like you'll you'll grow and stuff and you'll adapt yeah um and o- i'm sure like for us anyway we'll have the support system around us exactly that there's people that can support us exactly check in that. um and that kind of thing as well but yeah i i i do think i i know i think about legacy a lot i feel like all of us do to be fair um we think about what impact we're going to leave and the things that we're doing and how I guess we can pay it forward. Even like when we've spoken about the pod, like we've yeah. spoken about ways that we'd love to pay it forward with this pod as well. So, mm. you know, mm. it is something that's in our minds, but I guess to be fair, also like for us with our generation, it's not like we're in easy how do I explain this? We're not in like the easiest, I guess, predicament at times. If you think about, let's say like money, if you think about yeah. pressures yeah. like financially or like with work and stuff like yeah. that as well, there's quite a lot that we mm-hmm. have to like, I guess, deal with, especially after COVID. Oh, mm. all the taxing and all the other stuff, that's going to be us. It's going to be us that's going to have to deal with that. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a lot, man. Um, it's a lot, it's a lot. I think we are a generation that we are, uh, there's a lot of doers. Like we are people that like to make stuff happen. Yep. And even though, we do look at people like Aaliyah or Biggie and they have impact and they've done so much. Fred Hampton, especially, he did so much at his age, a lot at his age. And what, he's like, what, 23 or 21 or something? Yeah. He was really young. Bro, that's like, that's like our fam. ages, fam. And I think it's just, it's crazy, bro. It is, it is. But I feel like we're doing our bit in our own way. And I think it's easy to look at yeah, yeah, yeah. those people and forget that sometimes they can be the exception, or they are the exception. They are the exception. Yeah, like, yeah. it's not. It's not. It's not. It's, it's, it's like a. It's like a Michael Phelps in a bunch of yeah. swimmers. It's like not everyone is geared that me. way. No, not no. everyone is. I guess. Yeah, it's a rare. It's a well, rare. I mean, thing. not everyone thinks yeah. and like. Who do you think exactly. wakes up and says, "I'm just an ordinary guy. I'm just an ordinary gal." Like I, that's the thing, I, and I, obviously I don't know what everybody thinks, but like I would assume that everybody has their own way of being great. If that makes mm. sense, I doubt that someone just wakes up and says, "I'm just ordinary Joe." I go to the the what's it? I get my Tesco deal. It's a, it's a ham and cheese, uh, ready salted crisp <laughs> ham with a cheese. with yeah ham and, ham cheese, and cheese ready salted with water, <laughs> and then you walk out. Nah, like, I, I, are you even making up the three pounds <laughs> with that noodle? Bro, it's probably give you a discount. But my point is, yeah, <laughs> like there is no way that there is someone who thinks that there is nothing, and that's what that's that's the part that is always a bit battling because I know like you'll be surprised though. You know, people when when they I, when they hit a particular age like the 24 25 26 they start to like raw i haven't done it. like all my peers are buying houses all my friends are buying cars all of these people they're going to dubai this that that and i'm here then that then that reality starts to say maybe i am ordinary which is a conversation that i've had with myself sometimes when i see like people who are 21 mm. like doing a madness you know what i'm saying mm. but then it's like it's such an unfair comparison that we all like kind of place on ourselves sometimes we can't. We can't be ordinary, though. We're all unique. I, I, it's not even possible for us to be. That's the thing. Ordinary. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's um, like default nature. I think ultimately, though, like you just have to remember that um, in whatever part you are in your journey right now, that eventually there will be times where you know things will you know begin to brighten mm. up and stuff. I think ultimately, I know some people they peak. I mean, 
people will say, God forbid, but some people peak in their right. 40s, so maybe that's good for them at that yeah. t- their time, you know. Um, yeah, I think one thing I always say is that, um, like, even when I look at my career yeah. as a designer and even as a creative in general, like, I always see it like this. Um, I feel like my, or well, let me not cut myself, but I feel like my prime will be about 50 mm-hmm. years old. You get me? I'm not really trying to be mashing work. Well, I'm not even trying to be mashing work at 50, but I feel like my prime hey, will be at 50. Do you get me? Yeah, I am. I remember you saying, but like even like just mm. using the fifty example, if I'm gonna be out um, in in by fifty, I've got about mm. twenty five mm. more years mm. left to basically mash works. That's the way I see it. Do you know what I mean? So it's like I guess put things in perspective as well. Like it may not happen now. It may happen when you're thirty five. Yeah. May happen when you're forty. But yeah. uh, by by God's grace, anyway. But like you know, all in all in our our own time. Like it's true. We all peak yeah, differently. Exactly. Like yeah, yeah. <clears throat> And sometimes we may not even blow. As weird as that sounds, oh, like sometimes it ouch. may be a slow progression. But well, what does it mean to what does it That's, mean to blow? Yeah. What to get bare bare followers? Yeah, exactly. What now? Nah, what does it? When mean? we see it, you know, like when someone's blown, you know they've blown. Who would you say is blown in the in UK what, industry? What industry? Like, in what way? Like, in what? Like yeah. we're talking about like creative, 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 creative industry. Creative um, industry. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say market, okay. For example, bro. like Garden Magazine has blown from where Garden Magazine started till now. They've blown. Yeah, you know what oh, they've blown. You can tell when someone's blown. Like no signal has blown. But mm. what do you say? You know what I'm saying that's, that is that a current thing or has that have been happening for a while though? I think it's been happening for a while. Mm. Like every like like you were saying about the peak. I think everybody has yeah, like a point mm-hmm. where they're like, okay, cool. This is your 15 minutes of like being the biggest thing. But that 15 minutes can be stretched to. 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, or it could just be a year. No one knows, obviously, but you just kind of keep doing what you're doing. So, like, for example, No Signal, a lot of people when No Signal started thought it was just a fad. Like, oh, this is just, they got a stroke of luck and then a stroke of luck and mm. it's going to last maybe right before, like, for a few months. Well, it started from somewhere, though. They, they might that's my the point. Work. But obviously, like, I'm talking about when, when they get, when you get handed the baton, some people run a bit and they pass it on. They don't, not everybody can hold the baton for mm. a very long time. So my point is that like when someone's blown, you can tell like this person is blown because th- they were prepared for the or they were willing to put in that work where mm. like where it was needed. But my point is like there's a few people who when they get to that level of success or yeah. quote unquote when they've blown, they get comfortable or um, like a myriad of things can happen. Some someone might pass away, you might feel depressed, it might be too much for you, you get anxious. Yeah. Like people, you know, I know so many people who fumbled bags just because they were anxious and. When, when they got the opportunity, it happens, you know? Um, it happens, and I think that's the scary yeah, part when you, like, deeper, like... Yeah. And I don't want to be that person, but it's like... I don't believe that it's just one chance that everybody has. So, sometimes I feel like when people get very anxious mm. about, like, oh, you had that no. shot and you messed it up, it's like, no, 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 no. You had that shot, it didn't work out. It no. will go full cycle again and come back, but you just have to be prepared next time. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, inshallah, we all blow up. Um... <laughs> anyway, follow the podcast. Isn't it? Yeah, share with your friends and that. Amen, I'm trying to to that. Amen to that. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to today's episode of Rule of Thirds. Feel free to share your thoughts with us using the hashtag Rule of Thirds Pod. And for more from us, follow us on Instagram at Rule of Thirds Pod or our personal accounts for myself, Burns, Burns J N R, Mike at underscore Man Like Mike, and Jude at Kente Kwame. Catch you guys in the next one.